Pastor, I've sat in this church long enough. Ah. No! Ah. Ah. I am the father of lies and liars. I orchestration. Is that all? What on earth can be more than enough of a trouble? <laughs> What's funny? Why are you laughing? Mom, what should I do? Should I cry? Oh. Goga, your father, saw the same thing. And within days, he was no more. I am Ben, not Goga. That threat. It's real. We have a more sure word of prophecy, which is the word of God. There is a plot against your life. They killed my husband. Now they want to kill my son. My only son. My only consolation. Mom, who is he that sees it and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? I quoted the same scripture. When your father shared the evil encounter with me, no weapon that can ever hurt me has been forged. Amen. But I insist on seeing the pastor. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. What's the meaning of that? As a child, mm -hmm. I was the responsibility of my parents. Yes. But as a son in the house, I am not just a responsibility to my parents, but to my world. Power and authority are vested on the shoulders of sons. I am a son in God's kingdom. I know who I am and whose I am. There is power on the inside of me. And it is the power of the cross of Jesus Christ. At the cross, Jesus made a show, a public spectacle of the devil, stripping away from them all weapons, spiritual authorities, and power. Wickedness is real, my son. And I'm a living witness to that. Hmm. Mom, I am a recipient of God's manifold grace. And what's the meaning of that? I am indestructible. You are welcome, sir. And you are welcome, ma'am. Thank, Thank you very much, Pastor. Pastor. Thank you, sir. There are four profound things I am yet to understand. One, how did a 10-year-old girl get to my office from so far a distance? Two, the audacity of her carriage. Three, the wisdom and insights at which she spoke, and four, her weighty words. Uh, which girl are you talking about, Pastor? Did any child go missing, sir? Mm. Well, I must confess I'm deeply disappointed. A about about what, what, sir? Mm. Okay, never mind. How are you? How is your relationship? Oh, we are fine. We are fine. You know that hardly answers my question. I meant how is your interpersonal relationship? It's wonderful, Pastor. Faithful is he that called us. Who will continue to do it? Once in love, always in love, forever in love. Good. How are the children? Oh, they are doing great, sir. Very great. They are basking in the glory of the Lord, sir. Oh, that's right. They are just enjoying the Lord and walking in the precept of Jehovah. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the way, Pastor, who is this child you're talking about? Who made his or her way from such a far distance to your office? You want to know? Kate. You mean Kate, my daughter? 
Yes. My own Kate? Yes. My God. How come? What for? And under whose instruction? I cannot understand this. I can't believe this. Uh, you see, Pastor, I don't mean to disrespect you, sir. But are you sure it was my own daughter, Kate, that you saw that came to your office all alone? Yes, your daughter. What on earth could she have been looking for? How did she come to this place? And afterwards, how did she find her way back home? What day was it? I mean, what was the day she came to your office? Questions, questions, and more questions. Your daughter was here in quest of a solution. Solution? solution? To what? what? Hmm. Your daughter was here in quest of a solution to this. Take a look at this. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. Oh, yes. I'm already dressed. I was just finishing up my makeup. I'll be on the way shortly. Ah, no, don't worry. I won't be late for the party. See you soon. <laughs> Party again? Is that all you do with your life in this place? Must you attend every party in this town? Don't you have any better thing to do in this town than roaming about attending parties? How many parties do I attend? Let me tell you this time, you are going nowhere. What is wrong with you for goodness sake? Must you grace every party? Just know that you are stepping nowhere out of this house. <laughs> Nonsense. You lie. I have an equal say in this house. I met you when you were a nobody. You had nothing. Now, if you are not careful, I'll throw you out of this house. You can't. What nonsense. You can't, let me tell you. You can't do that. And I'm going for that party. If the heavens want to fall, let it fall. What? Okay. I'm going to lock you up in this house. You are going nowhere. You can't try it. Okay. You can't try it. You cannot try it. Ruby! You call me Ruby. Eh, now my name is Ruby. Look at this woman. Is that not your name? Was that the name you gave me when we got newly married? Oh, spare what me that. What happened to honey? Spare me that nonsense. That is one day I live to regret. I wish that day was never created. Nonsense. Yes. You are going nowhere. I'm going. You... I'm going. <laughs> Oh, that is well. Oh. oh, my God. I can't imagine this. Where do we go from here now? I should be asking you. Hi! What a shame. Jesus. This is all your fault, you know. There you go again. I put it to you that you are responsible for this entire mess. You have started again. You are, the are you an incurable troublemaker? Only I put it to you that you are the culprit, the aggressor. Mama, what's the matter? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just having a conversation with your dad. That's all. <sighs> But the voice I had sounded aggressive. I thought it was a problem or something. No. I was just having a conversation with your father. Honey, say something. Mm, oh, chill, my baby. There's nothing to worry about, okay? It's okay, my dear. It's okay. Dad, you've told me this in the past, only for me to witness a full-blown war. We are just from the pastor's office. Okay. I will deal with this girl. Leave my baby alone. Is that so? I can smell a rat. From where now? There is a conspiracy. You and Kate have conspired to set me up for mockery. Against who? Conspiracy against who? Against me. Huh? There goes the vintage role, forever searching for a scapegoat. What just happened is a wake-up call 
for us to turn a new leaf. Otherwise, otherwise, what will happen? Shame. Shame will continue to be the promotion of fools. And who are you referring to as a fool? <laughs> ah! Oh my my. Alright. Oh my God, he's good. Oh. Where is this man? Hello, Jimmy. Where are you? I told you to come by nine and you are yet to be here. Please do, hurry up. Okay, please, be fast. This man, this I that I told you. As a song, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my Lord. I am. I want more of you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I want more of you. Jesus, the more I know you, the more I want to know you. Jesus, more of you. Oh, 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 I want more of you, Jesus, the more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. My Lord, do we unleash more afflictions? Not yet. <laughs> He is under a cloud of protection. No arrow will be able to toss her as long as that cloud is there. But, my lord, I can see no clouds. It is there. Invisible. Invisible. But we have succeeded with other members of our church. That's true. But she remains untouchable. Till when, my lord? Till the cloud is no more. How do we destroy the clouds? The cloud is indestructible. My lord, where will the cloud depart? When ceaseless praise and a heart of gratitude <laughs> is taken away from our hearts and hearts. What a mess! Another opportunity missed! You are the real interloper. You are an irritant. The art is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You are making me feel like a pagan. No! I am trying to provoke you to lay hold on the believer's mightiest weapon. My hope is lost. In the name of Jesus, your hope is not lost. <laughs> oh my God is dead. God forbid. 